Antipathy pushed its use of creative liberty. The mod is based on Madness Combat 6, which is called Antipathy, but instead of recreating the episode, it used it as a framework to create its own idea. With this kind of approach, it opens the door to many possibilities, leading to a unique experience that gives appreciation to the source material. Today, I will be breaking this mod down, discussing its main aspects and seeing how well it did with what it offered. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. Starting with the presentation, the art for this mod has a lot of detail. Hank's visuals have been upgraded, making his appearance have a stronger impression, since his face is... you know... His poses give expression from his body movement. The shaking of his idol works well when he is mad, but not as much for his neutral expression. Even Etma said this. When he is mad, his hands start shaking in his poses, but you probably won't notice this because the screen shakes when Hank sings. When Tricky arrives, he is the one to shake the screen. Due to his psychotic nature, his poses are much more expressive, including more shaking that is easier to tell apart from the screen shake. This song also features multiple animations since these two are fighting each other while they sing. Lockjaw has Girlfriend sing against Hank, and this is where I should mention that you can choose to have standard boyfriend and girlfriend, or their grunt counterparts. The standard look is great with facial expressions, while the grunts have great expression in their movement. Girlfriend is great in both regards, making her design feel better than grunt friend's design. Grunt friend's expressions are great, fitting with her grunt look, but I could see the possibility of more movement since she has a tall physique. Accelerant features animations for Tricky's entrance and exit. Blood Rage features a different design for Hank, with new poses and a new setting. The backgrounds are fairly simple, yet they still provide a level of depth. The story mode has cutscenes that are 3D animated, giving it a unique look. There are even more animations based on the files, but they were not working. For example, Girlfriend was going to have an animation for if you broke a 10 plus combo, but it doesn't work. With the mod having a smaller scope, it led to a lot more attention being given to making an atmosphere with the art. <laughs> Moving on to the main spotlight, the soundtrack got a lot of attention. Thrash Drive sets up the scene, getting you ready for a throwdown. The story mode has progression with its songs. Battered is the first encounter, showing that this throwdown is not to be taken lightly. Overdrive ups the intensity, turning the throwdown into a showdown. Trainwreck introduces a bigger threat, forcing our initial enemy to take action against the new menace. After the threat is stopped, Lockjaw brings in the boss, adding a darker tone to the intensity. Accelerant has been remixed to have more force with its instrumental, fitting with the new Hank. The Madness remix is fairly similar to the original, but it has added an ominous undertone to its brawling feel. Lastly, Blood Rage feels like a beat-em-up tune that fits with the feel of Madness Combat. Hank's voice is not the most pleasant noise, but it sounds accurate given his appearance and has a surprisingly great rhythm to it. I could say the same about Tricky's voice. Plus, his voice sounds similar to his voice in Madness Project Nexus. The smack talk between Hank and Tricky in Trainwreck makes the song feel more like an experience. Girlfriend's voice in Lockjaw is beautiful, even if it may just be a modified version of Boyfriend's voice in Dad Battle. Boyfriend's vocals sound great, although it is a little disappointing that there is no modification to his voice in Madness. Normally, the music discussion would end here, but this mod went hard on its music. Rust and Dust is a gallery theme that is more relaxed compared to Thrash Drive, making it better suited for admiring the art. Pause em Up is loud and impactful, which maintains the mood of the mod, but is quite odd for a pause theme. The End is a sort of victory theme that meshes with Madness Combat, fitting for the credits that followed completing the story. Each playable character even has their own Game Over theme. Skullbreaker is a simple tune that sounds like a merging of Madness Combat with FNF, 
fitting well with Boyfriend. Clown Kills You sounds like a game over theme that would be found in a Madness Combat game working well with Hank. Bitch, yes, that is the name, has a similar tune to Lockjaw, not necessarily related to Girlfriend, but it still works well. One last thing is a joke based on the song It Has To Be This Way from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. The soundtrack did everything it could to nail its atmosphere, and it certainly paid off. Now, let's take a look at the backbone that holds this mod together. Getting it out of the way, every song has a charting error. Why is it somewhat difficult to find a song that does not have a charting error? I can give some benefit of the doubt because the voices of Hank and Tricky can make it difficult to discern one sound from another. This error in particular is so wrong that I believe it is intentional. Not only has this been here since the demo, but every difficulty has it. Moving on, these charts have great flow, even in their higher difficulties. Instead of having difficulties below the base difficulty, it has two that are above the base, named Mad and Fucked, respectively. These two difficulties add extra notes to the base charting, maintaining a similar flow. There are two exceptions to this. Lockjaw does not change the base notes. It changes the amount of Lockjaw notes. These will appear in new locations, some even replacing notes that you were already intended to hit. Trainwreck likely does not do this because the sounds are a part of the instrumental, thus ingrained into the main flow of the music. Blood Rage, for whatever reason, has the same chart for every difficulty. Comparing it to how the other difficulties are charted, Blood Rage would be the Mad difficulty. Standing Here also uses the same chart for each difficulty, but what would be the point of adding other difficulties to a one-off joke? Now, let's discuss the mechanics of this mod. First off, Health Drain. Not much of a fan. The reason for having multiple hit points is to allow room for error, but there are circumstances where you lose lots of hit points in one action without the ability to prevent it. The general response would be that this is unfair, but it is certainly possible to make it feel fair or use it to some kind of advantage. How did the mod use it? <laughs> The mod wants to pressure you in a fair way. For hard, I think it is a bit excessive in Lockjaw and Madness, but it is doing its job. Mad and Fucked are also more or less fair while still doing their job. Trainwreck features two new notes, an attack note and a block note. They do exactly what you expect. Attack notes will have Hank attack Tricky, and block notes will have Hank block Tricky's attacks. The mod actually tells you to hit these notes, and the way it phrased it is a nice bit of immersion. Attacking Tricky will actually give you health, while failing to attack or block will make you lose one quarter of your total health. These notes are balanced and a great addition to the song. Lockjaw introduces a Lockjaw note, but I want you to take a good look at it and tell me if you would want to touch it. It is likely that you said no, and there is a reason for that. There is a concept called affordance, which, in short terms, means that the design of an object will suggest its function. Think about the designs for door handles. A handle with this design suggests that you should pull it, while a handle with this design suggests that you should push it. If you have ever used a door with a handle you would want to pull, but you had to push it open, that is bad affordance. The same can be said about the lockjaw note. Multiple cultures associate black with evil and red with anger, making this note something you would want to avoid, but you are intended to hit it. If you miss, you will lose half of your total health. The first time you come across this note, regardless of the difficulty, you do not have the health to survive, so you are likely going to learn the hard way. Maybe the game tells you to hit it through this quote from the episode, or through the fact that you had to hit the previous notes. Aside from that, I do not have an issue with this note. Having a note you have to hit is much better than having a note you have to avoid. One last thing is the use of changing the scroll speed. This is not a common thing to see, but it can be quite impactful to the experience. Trainwreck does a good job with this in slowing it down and speeding it up. 
the gameplay makes for an experience that has enough balance to keep it enjoyable. The last thing to look at is the writing that went into the mod. The story presents itself as a standard three song week, keeping the fourth song hidden to serve as a surprise. As I said at the start, the plot is not related to the plot of the episode, but instead uses the bare bones of the situation and creates something original. The references are a little odd. The face on Hank's chest is referencing what is likely a mistake in the episode. For the majority of it, the face has a consistent look, but throughout the first room where Hank mows through grunts, the face is flipped. Quite an obscure reference. The pipe Hank uses has the same design as it does in the episode, but the axe does not. For something this small, it would make more sense to have the reference. I even found an old sprite that does have the reference. Two specific lines of dialogue are taken from Madness Combat 7 and used in a way that fits their original meanings. Hank says knock it off out of frustration, and Tricky tells Hank to get up so they can continue playing. The menus create an immersive environment, and Lockjaw has a unique loading screen due to how the song starts. The writing for this mod does an incredible job at world building. That is all that I have to discuss. Here is a recap of my scores for the mod. Antipathy took inspiration from the Antipathy episode and crafted a unique experience from its base ideas. There are some things that could have been better, but overall, this mod was very enjoyable and creative with its execution. Feel free to share your thoughts on the mod in the comments below. Until next time.